Go inside. It's a pandemic. You can go back inside. You can go back inside. It's the cam in our pod. We on pod. Niggas saying we on pod. Give me the ad if we on pod. Welcome to the rock pod. Niggas want to smoke? Pod. Tone gonna pull up the machine and we gonna record. Pod. 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 Niggas gonna say we on pod. We on pod. It's the cam in our pod. Can I pod? Can we not podcast? We are the podcast. We are the best podcast in the whole trap. Best pod. Pod, pod. Can we not? Can we not pod? Can we not? Pod. Catch us out. Sign. We gonna record. You ain't in the club. Episode. Nine. Eight. Nine. I'm the one that they ain't like. Whoa. You just ain't alive. Oh. This is just hard. Keep going. Yeah, baby. Why you wait? Wait, hold on. Why you thrusting? Is that, I'm, I'm opening it. Can we not pod? Going Can live. we not pod? <laughs> Can we not pod? Pod, pod. Niggas say you want to court. <laughs> you need like a choir in the back. <laughs> I know, that's what I'm saying. But wow. once again, welcome. Hello, everybody. It's Can We yeah. Not Podcast, episode 89 with me, your host, the one and only, the pod piper himself, Mr. Evan Cumbest. I'm in the building. Let me get an air horn for myself real quick. We back up in this bitch. Woo-hoo. Some know me as the Velvet Visionary, some know me as ASAP Nappy, but t- today, on this lovely morning, I am come best a counselor. Ah, 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 ah. Yes. You counseling anybody today? Is it me? I'm about to counsel. <laughs> we about to counsel a lot of niggas. No, cancel come best, because we need Assemble. to cancel going outside. Cancel all of them. We need to cancel, yeah, going outside, nigga. Wait, how'd you get here? <laughs> it's conjugate and combest. We had to conjugate. Conjugate. <laughs> it's the conjugate combest. Contradictory combest. <laughs> so right next to me is Far Rockaway's finest. Some know him as Big Pussy Energy. <laughs> Some people <laughs> who knows me like this. <laughs> Some people know him as Akari Hardwick. But this week we're going back to an oldie and a goodie. It's a Kidris Elba, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! You yeah, know you got baby. that Rona. I uh, came back from the states. Um, came back from the K and I just want to say that I'm fine. I'm doing really well. Well, you got it and your wife was talking to Oprah and she said she got it. Oh, uh, fam. Wait, hold up. It's, it's a Kai. It's, oh, I'm back. No, my fault. <laughs> Yo, what's good? Where's oh. Jimmy been? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Damn, word. I just need to talk about the soundboard. Yeah, what, what happened to Jimmy? <laughs> Whatever. Um, Anybody listening, we're not on, Um, we're, we are in Sky's Kai's radio. We Sky's are Kai. not in the city, so there will be no shout outs to Jade. No shout outs to City World Radio. Sorry, Spotify. There will be no shout outs to Sky's Crescent Radio. We not on Spotify. So if you're trying to find us on Spotify, we're not there yet. Don't look. Exactly, because you know niggas is pussy coronavirus. Um, <laughs> nah, that's why we dropping the mixtapes on SoundCloud, right? Event. Oh, 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 so, so we hope for. But guys, <laughs> um, yeah. So if you're listening to us, thank you for so everybody listening. Everybody, um, iTunes, SoundCloud, Spreaker, not Spreaker. Sp- um, tune in, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, wherever you're listening, we appreciate you and making right. sure Tone is here, Must See TV, cameras is on, cameras is on, cameras is on, cameras is on, four cameras. So everybody watching on YouTube, we appreciate oh, you. Comment Both down times. below, subscribe to the channel, and um, like the video, guys. Share um, it too. Yeah, I know. Tone doesn't have a microphone, so there's no point in even trying to talk to him. Sorry, Tone. taking pictures of us right now because this is what we're gonna look like. <laughs> for the rest of the episode So Akai How are you How was your week How's your week of quarantining Quarantine Quarantine so, comeback Social distancing I was living in my element Reclaiming my time sir That was the best thing I could possibly do for myself So yeah Social distancing I'm all for it If we do this like once every month For how long Like a week Like I feel like that would be dope We're probably gonna have to get normalized To that kind of life Anyway because people don't know how to wash their hands, apparently. <laughs> I don't think it's just a matter of washing their hands. People it's, just can't help not going outside. No. Nah, and conjugating. No, 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 no. Well, no, no. Listen, I have no need to go outside. I mean, look at me. But at the same time, like just people don't want to deal with themselves. That's why they don't want to be inside the whole time. They don't rest in peace, Pop Smoke. Oh, yeah. Rest in peace, Pop Smoke. I ain't no window shopper. You middle here window one of my students said he sounded like 50 Cent. He does sound like 50 Cent. That nah. was his biggest influence. 
Are you dead ass gonna tell me Cosmo don't, don't no, sound like 50 no, no, Cent? No, I'm not saying he he nah. Don't make me press play. Shopping. He played that same exact line too. No window, window, window shopping. shopping. Nah, fifty got nah fifty got. They have more a similar like a, style because that's who influenced him. So he yes, he emulated I get 50. that. But you know what? All right, all right. Rest in peace, pop. I wish we could ask him so we can get his thoughts. Rest in but peace, pop. You pop. guys could get your thoughts on it. Woo yeah, baby. Go to the comments. Hit us with a woo yeah, baby. If you think Fifty Cent. And pop sound. I want to hear that fucking album, bro. Yeah, that, <laughs> that right gonna there. He's going to redo that album. I want to hear that fucking album. Wait, he's going to redo the album? Not redo, but like he's going to produce whatever vocals that he recorded. That's he's going to do that album. That's and that crazy. shit's going to sound hard. Have you heard some of the shit from there? No. Nah. Nigga. Man, how did you? How did you get this? Oh, nah. Damn. Damn. This sound hard. It's not a music podcast. Yo, this shit, it's about to be shit, man. Ah, nah, I can't. See, this is, this is the thing I dislike about hearing, like, the newer kids come up. Like, they, they're involved in so much. And then something like this happens, and then you gotta go back and look at all the stuff that they were gonna pop up on. It's just, damn. You ain't heard him? Tell me, he, you gonna tell me he don't sound like 50 Cent. Nigga, listen to this shit. I think it's not a music podcast. Have mercy on me, have mercy on my soul. Don't let my heart turn cold. Have mercy on me, have mercy on I mean, that's clearly. Many men, but he was about to bring New York back. I feel like he could have did it. <laughs> I my, I was just a sidetrack. I got sidetracked. We was talking yeah. about um yeah, yeah um quarantine. How was your yeah? How was your quarantine? Not nah, that it was lit. I was catching up with like um myself, and I feel like that's the thing that people need to do is catch up with themselves. But that's the one thing people aren't wanting to do. But that shit was lit. Yes, very, very what true. about you, though? Um, time is non-existent. It really felt like a man-made concept. I feel like I saw you two days ago, <laughs> to be honest with you. <laughs> I feel like I'm still ready to talk about reassurance. <laughs> with, I feel Gabe's like you not need here, some reassurance. But, no, I you don't. You need some reassurance. Yes, you do. You need to know what time it is. I don't need reassurance. I don't need to know what so time it is. So why you wear a watch? For style, fashion. Same reason I wear a cross. I know, it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. God have mercy on, on my soul. soul. <laughs> so where my heart are cold. Damn. Okay. Uh, well, how did you appreciate the social distancing? I feel like you of anybody would have just said. Oh, well, nigga, you know me. Break. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know how antisocial but, I but, am. But you are also romantic at heart. Did you have a quarantine, babe? No. You've been asking me this for three weeks straight. <laughs> I've asked you this for 10 years straight. <laughs> I wanted to know. You just, I want to know. Why are you singing to me? Bay. Now, <laughs> if only. Sing? If only. Nigga. You don't get that bag. You don't hey, get that. Wait, hold on. <laughs> no, tell me that. Hey, yo. <laughs> I don't have to. I don't have to do that. It's right there. So you really didn't have a quarantine bag? You didn't have anybody. Like, okay, do you have anybody in mind if some, like, some shit really hits a fan? The American people are tired of women. That's me. <laughs> you're the American people. Yes, I am the American. You're, you're speaking for I'm the everyday American. <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> are you sure? There's well, no way you're I, the Actually, American. I don't know. I've been trying to file for un- unemployment for now. <laughs> yeah, what, how, okay. All right. This is the fucked up this shit week I'm is hearing. fucked up. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I'm hearing. Like, okay, so what is it? That is going to be done because I, I'm hearing the rent is being suspended. Okay, hearing, so with all this quarantine shit, to give an update for people who do not know, well, you probably know, but you may not have all the facts per se because, you know, there's headlines everywhere and every, every state or country where this is happening, they're handling it different. So some people see headlines from another fucking place on earth and they think it applies to them. No, we live in New York. I only listen to information from doctors, um, the the head medical person that's in um the cabinet that goes up there every day with Donald Trump, Mike Pence, and um his name's Fauci. I listen to him, whatever he says on that damn thing, and I listen to other doctors and um appointed officials like um Andrew Cuomo, the governor. Let me just get that nigga an air horn real quick. Hold on, that nigga's been bodying it. 
he has been bodying this whole coronavirus, I mean, Fauci, hand, handling it. Fauci was saying, and that's the head, head medical guy, right? Yeah, he's the head he, medical he guy. I feel bad for him. They weren't by any means ready for this. There's like no contingency plan in place. So that just got to make you think like. Well, that's just also with the how the head head people are handling it because when this whole thing came out in Japan way back in December, and they gave news on like, hey, who needs masks? Who needs some things that we working they on? Said this stuff was here in November, apparently. It probably was, but it wasn't reported. <laughs> that's also Crazy. another fact is that all the numbers are rising, but that's also because of how long it's probably already been here, but nobody was being tested. So that's also another important part. In a sense, it's the, the testing of it, so that way you have an idea of the scale. Because people are like, oh, New York has the most because we have over 10,000 cases. But but no, that's not the yeah, fact. Yeah, but now my thing is, my question is, like, after we have, like, this kind of recess from being in populated areas, how are they going to test everybody? Like, you can't test They don't have enough tests. Well, that's this. That's also another part how of it. How the fuck are we going to go back to work? There's not <laughs> enough tests, but right now the most important thing is why people need to quarantine themselves is flattening the curve. Yeah. And I don't think people understand what that means because a lot of times if you don't know somebody personally, you feel like it's not real. Mm-hmm. There was a dude who was on, um, I think he was on Instagram. He was on live going there and police showed up. He was like, having like a barbecue in New Jersey. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was having like a whole barbecue New in New up. Jersey. And he's like, oh, yeah, fuck the quarantine. We barbecuing. And the police showed up, told him, hey, man, you can't be having gatherings of more than 10 people because the, the head in New Jersey was like, yo, stay in. Like, y'all got to stay in your house. <laughs> Nobody can go outside except essential workers and, you know, pharmacists, like the, the utmost important people in times like this. And niggas yeah, don't shout care. Shout out to the runners out there, man. But you can go you out. Can't even run in New Jersey anymore now. I mean, even you can still go out for a jog. You can exercise. No, nah, people in Jersey be running all the time. I know. I know. It's a very, it's a running state. Yeah, but man. you know, they got a jog. You can still go out for a jog. You can walk your dog. You know, make sure you curb it, and you can, <laughs> you can do what you want. It's weird because, like I said, it's one of those like they can't force you to stay inside, but it's heavily suggested you stay inside and oh, understand. Yeah. But people don't understand why because, like I said, if you don't know nobody who has it, you feel like it's not right. You, know, you feel like it's not real. You feel like it does not affect you, but. Flattening the curve, and that's what doctors have been saying, and from what I've been noticing in my research and just listening to appointed officials, flattening the curve is basically our medical system and what we have, our resources of fighting the coronavirus, and we only have limited resources, obviously, and Andrew Cuomo spoke on this, which is, he's bodying the fuck out of this. He's like, yo, these niggas is price gouging masks. Like, these shits were 85 cents. They charge $7. Like, what the fuck? Like, yo, my nigga, like, what are y'all doing? I mean, that's inflation, though. We need to stop, like, no, no, you're just price gouging. Exactly, but like, yo, when does capitalism over humanity? Like, what are we doing? That's (laughs) like saying, oh, yo, the niggas at Charmin, they are like losing their minds right now. Yeah, but they didn't expect this. It's like when Popeye's first put out the chicken sandwich, and like for the first, first week off. it wasn't going crazy And then out of nowhere it started going crazy if a nigga And then they made enough and nobody cared Nah if a nigga didn't know already That toilet paper the industry itself They rolling in the shit man Everybody needs toilet paper Now everybody but really needs There's paper. no extra need of Because to- people bought toilet it's like I said I'm just before, mad people I talk about it on stage first. People thought they needed toilet paper Because they thought they were going to be ordered to stay in Like they wouldn't be let out of their house you can still go outside of your house. You can still go buy more toilet paper. There's no need to still go take a shit somewhere else. Exactly. You can go. Actually, no. Nah, I wouldn't. No, no. I wouldn't advise public. that yes, public yes. shitting. You, you take shit in public. Nah, I couldn't do it. I could not do it. Even in school, I, do. I couldn't do that shit. I That's do. hard. When I was in school, I was actually traumatized, so I, I, I don't do it. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You were traumatized going to the bathroom? Yeah. One time I was taking the shit in junior high school. I knew not to do it. I wasn't even sitting on the toilet, bro, because you don't want your ass to touch a seat because it's disgusting. But at the time, I think these dudes was having a um a fight by the urinals, which is the weirdest place to have a fight. And <laughs> as they decided to have this fight, the um I think and also I think either they were having a fight and then these other dudes were doing some shit and I think they were selling something or just doing whatever. And then the dean was trying to find them. So the dean so I think they kind of like the dispersed. What middle school did you go to, nigga? So these niggas dispersed. <laughs> and as they dispersed, they um what you call it? The dean is running around looking for them. I'm taking this shit. I think one of the dudes went to the other stall and he was like standing on top of the toilet. So the dean came in, busting open doors. <laughs> looking for the dude. And I'm sitting on the toilet taking shit, nigga, bust open the door on me. <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's like last week. 
No, All no, these no, niggas no. do is judge me and laugh. No, at me. I'm not judging. I'm not judging you. No, that was last Everybody week. Everybody takes a shit. What are you talking about? That was but last week with the judge. This week no. you're laughing at me. <laughs> I'm not. I'm laughing. You're at mocking the, me. I'm laughing at your experience. All right, what's up? <laughs> your experience is hilarious. <laughs> your experiences are delightful. <laughs> he kicks in the door. <laughs> <laughs> What happened? <laughs> what do you mean? What happened? Nigga, bust open the door, saw me taking the shit. He saw you taking the shit. You were. I, I was exposed. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm, I'm at my most vulnerable. How I'm taking you, the wait, shit. Wait, he busted open your door. Yes. You didn't lock it. I'm pretty sure his <laughs> this six foot four giant Haitian man was stronger any than any little, little nah, single nah, lock. Oh, the little <laughs> single metal. Yeah, a little single yeah, shit. Uh, yeah. He bust that shit. <laughs> hey, what's going on in there? Why you doing? <laughs> yeah. Did you scream? <laughs> Why do you want? Why do you want? You don't know how wild this is to me. This nigga kicked in the door. <laughs> this nigga dropped his entire shit. <laughs> My pants wasn't even off yet. <laughs> no. I'm no. joking. I'm not. That's a joke. That's a joke. Sometimes I think about in the future how clips from this podcast will be used against me. <laughs> <laughs> I need to have more foresight with this shit. Yo. Oh. Flattening the curve. Flatten the curve, man. All right. Got to kick down the door of coronavirus and make sure you scare the shit out of it so it doesn't come back. <laughs> Flattening the curve is making sure we don't over... Work our resources that we have to fight the coronavirus. We only have a limited amount of hospital beds, a limited amount of testing, a limited amount of damn near everything that we have to help people who are really suffering from the coronavirus, which are mainly elderly people and people with compromised health systems. The coronavirus is like the is not like the flu. It's kind of more similar to SARS in a sense, where they have more spikes on the end of the um the virus cells that infiltrate and take over your cells and then multiply you know, multiply in your body. But they have the spice on it that attach to the um the layers of your the tish, the layers of tissue along your lungs. Mm. So that's what the spikes are what attach to it. And that's why it's so dangerous because not only young people who could probably fight it off and may not feel affected by it, there are people who lose a lot of because it keeps multiplying in the tissues of your lung, it attacks the tissue of your lungs. So you could have like you may not feel it at first, but you could have lasting effects for the rest of your life of the mm. yeah, of the rest of your life. And people who vape also, like young people get it too, but a lot of young people who vape are now coming out and be like, yo, I got it, this shit really fucking with me. Because yeah. you, you vape, your lungs <laughs> compromise. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like I said, limited testing. So the whole point is, another thing about it is the fact of, this is why it's such a dangerous virus, is the fact of how easy it is to spread. A lot of different resources are coming out telling you where it could go. The latest that I've heard, like I said, I'm not confirming, but the latest I've heard from a medical official, people are saying that they think that it can live in the air for up to two hours. It can live on um, copper and metal surfaces for three, um, no, copper surfaces for three hours. No, it can live on metal for three days. Three days. Some of it is three hours. Some of it is like two days. Yeah. That's crazy. There's like metal and some other shit. It can live there for two days. That was like the most recent one that I've heard Saturday. I heard that Saturday. And like this shit can basically, you can touch, and yeah, and Andrew Cuomo was talking about it. He said you can basically, you can have it, cough on your hand or whatever, and touch the top of your table, and then you go away somewhere else. The next day some older person comes, they touch it, now they can get it. So how easy it is to spread, you can, one, it has like a, a um, it's like a rating that they have of how Contamin how contagious it is, contagious rate, and I think it's like a two point five. So one person can inf infect damn near is most likely to infect two and a half people. That's wild. And then those two people affect two and a half people. And, then and it's just it spreads. It's like a pyramid. So even I was reading something earlier too that they were talking about when it happened in China. Um, that why they say you got to get rid of all these. That's why they want to stop all these social gatherings. Yeah. can't gather together because you'll just spread it and you may not notice it. People could just carry it and just give it to somebody else and they may not be affected, but you could carry it to somebody who is affected. So it's important, stay your ass inside. Stay the fuck inside, please. And even in China, in Wuhan, they said there was one person who was damn, well, you trace back over 200 cases. Or nothing was 2,000 cases. It was either 2,000, 8,000. It was a lot of fucking people. You could trace it back to one person who was at church. What? At a church gathering, like a religious gathering, and they spread it to their whole church, and then they spread Damn, it out. So when man. they all traced it back, 
You can trace it back to that one person. So Grandma, I'm sorry, I ain't gonna see you until like 2021. That's why people saying that it's it can last crazy. for so long. Thank you, Tone. Tone just sent me, sent me the thing. Three hours can land in. It can stay in the air for three hours. Four hours it can stay on copper on cardboard. Twenty four hours stainless steel. Two to three days and plastic. Three days. Thank you. That's what I know. I'm somewhere around yeah. there. That's the same graphic I read. Thank plastic, you, Tone. Though. So yeah, it's very dangerous, not to you, but it can hurt other people. Yeah. So it's very very important to stay your fucking ass inside. Yeah, stay. stay Unless you got to go to work. Go to work, make your money. I understand. And that's the problem with it, too. A lot of people losing their job, unemployment. I'm one of them, unfortunately. That's and just, so fucked up. I know, but a lot of people are facing under these hard times. But that's that's not the point. I understand that. My, and that's also why I'm not stressing out about it. I'm sure there's a lot of other people who are in worse situations than me because of this shit. Oh, yeah, that's a fact. That's a fact. And for me, fam. I know you just spoke on how this has been for you, how easy and simple it's been for you to just yeah, hey, sh- social social distancing your shit oh, lit. Yeah. It's a lit. A lot of people seem to be having a hard fucking time dealing with this. I mean, in what sense? Fam, every day on Instagram, I just see people, yo, we outside. Fam, I just saw a video <laughs> of Casanova outside. And the police tried to shut him down. He's like, no, nah, we all got it. <laughs> yo, we all nah, got we it. Now <laughs> we all got it. Yo, we outside. I tell you, 116, bro, they Damn. all lit right now. And I'm not going to tell them anything. You want to tell Casanova something? I, I think the coronavirus is going to tell us something. I mean, I, I I know he was joking, but, you know. Still, though, I feel like natural selection is going to show up. Probably like, take yeah, take your ass inside, bro. Yeah, please. Like, uh, I've never been, like, this more, like, cautious of wanting to, like, step out and do something. But now I'm really cautious. Like, I don't even want to check the mail. <laughs> like, I mean, I know it ain't gonna be in good mail, but still, I don't want to check. Mail. I ain't paying no bills. You, <laughs> you suck my dick. <laughs> Wait, I mean, is that a thing? Because like, let's all like as a people like come together and say and this. not pay rent. Yo, <laughs> 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 not pay mortgage. Yo, hey, yo, Sprint. <laughs> yo, nah, fuck out of here, nah, nigga. I had to make sure I paid that bill. Nigga. Nah, I got an iPhone, my nigga. It's make sure time wanted. The only thing I got to hold down. <laughs> you got iMessage, right? <laughs> FaceTime me. What? We, you we, don't use your FaceTime. I never do. You're right. I'm just, I mean. I don't, I've, I've been stopped using FaceTime. I feel like people have gotten creative since. I wish people would just use it though. Because every time I go on Instagram or social media, I see people hanging out outside. Well, I see people going over over they, to other people's houses and like big numbers gathering together, we having game before. nights and shit. They had the um the thirty two um thing the on uh iPhone um thirty two. Oh people. yeah, thirty two people can yeah. go to, on yeah. You can be on Facebook. Yeah, That's do what that. We should be doing. Yeah, let's. Like, why the fuck are y'all go meeting each other in person and going home to your respective families and possibly infecting your elderly? Damn, grandma, and just I'm spreading sorry. the fucking virus. Why are y'all doing this? Twenty twenty two. Like you gotta stop. Yeah, <laughs> you it's, can't do. It's no more play play and. The more you stay inside, if everybody goes inside, we just all chill out for like two weeks and just let the, because that's the thing, too many people get infected and then you're putting more of pressure and you're applying way more pressure on the people because then on the medical service and what we have, the hospitals only have a certain amount of beds. So let's say they only have, for example, let's say they have 5,000 beds yeah. or 500 beds, but you got 800 people. Oh yeah, nah. That's everybody's not gonna be able to get get a bed ain't, now. Ain't then you're stuck with decisions of damn, who gets to live, who gets to die. Yeah, that's, that's what they've been facing in Italy. Crazy. Italy just had 800 people die in one day. Fuck from the coronavirus. Exactly. Damn man, that that's, that's and the way that people are playing in America, we will likely be something similar to that. Yeah, I mean, because again, we haven't really did our part to slow things down and halt shit like. I mean, the MTA is one. That's a definite big factor. Like, yo, shut that shit down. Fam, I saw the fact that when they was like, yo, we got to clean this shit down. They clean one of those benches. Fam, I never knew what the original color of those benches were in the MTA. Wait, what? Like how clean, when you clean it, the oh, benches that you nah. sit down. Oh, Did you nah. see that video? Nah. Fam, that shit was such a pristine, mahogany, like, brown. Nigga. Yo. I thought they were black. Yo, dead ass. I thought they were like faded dead. Oh, nah. I saw a clean one. I was like, yo. What are we that's what it's supposed on? to look like? That shit is 
Oh, like y'all should have just never cleaned that shit. Cause I'm pretty sure the germs on there was way stronger than the coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the yeah. fuck was already living on there was way stronger Yo, than New the coronavirus. New York has like the strongest fucking bacteria. Like, don't fuck with our bacteria. Like, That's a fucking like, fact. Our viruses, though. don't fuck with them, nigga. Like, but yeah, people stay inside. I'm tired of going on Instagram and seeing y'all niggas hanging out in person. And I'm also tired of going on Instagram and seeing you niggas go live. Well, shout out to the niggas going. Oh, well. Nah, too many niggas going live, bro. Too they doing many. Some creative fam, shit. I've been no, no, not everybody. Not Ooh. everybody. Name one. No, name one. I can go through my old. I can go on Instagram right now. I'll and I see name three you people. one. I see three people on live right Boosie now. Who see badass is changing? I ain't get there yet. Hold on, I ain't get to the people who are doing Instagram live right. I'm gonna get to the niggas who's doing it wrong. Then we are gonna get to the niggas. You know doing what? It right. All right, because I'm just saying. <laughs> There's a couple niggas ain't doing it wrong, fam. Like I said, going. Hey, up. that's my name. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> no, it's not. I but went live once yesterday. Okay, you went live just doing bull. I'm like, it was bullshit, but you but know. yeah, but you weren't outside. Thank God. But yeah, there's been people <laughs> just going on live doing the most non entertaining shit ever. Also me. <laughs> I'm what? sick of niggas going live every, at 7 p.m. every night. There's like five niggas on live. Nobody want to watch it live. And also stop tagging people in the in the fucking push up challenge. I'm not doing push ups. Oh, yeah, the push up challenge. Yeah, why, is... why are we doing push ups? Why, why, I, fam, you weren't doing push ups before? <laughs> like, it just shows me how out of shape a lot of people were, <laughs> to be honest with you. And girls just taking selfies and then tagging 10 bitches they don't fuck with. Oh, damn. Oh, like, yeah. why are y'all doing this? I was wondering what that was. <laughs> Somebody yeah, put, this fake support shit. Somebody put me like the one of the artists. One. I mean, it's kind of dope for that aspect, like the creators aspect. Yeah, yo, let's yeah. fuck with the algorithms. Let's just tag everybody and you know, put the flame emoji. Yeah, yeah, Tony, you was doing it too. Yo, tag your ten dope photographers and well, I, I mean, find that's your dope, dope for respect. like a little. I'm not watching things. skip. I don't. I'm really tapping. Watch I'm anything. tapping my screen. I tap the skip. screen too. That's skip all we do. I don't give a fuck. I'm not looking at all ten bitches you put in there. Yo, who? who uh, like, you, yo, never no. you never I'm not, know. You know. I'm not. No, I'm not. No. You never know. No, no. What if somebody do, no. shared it out like um, I don't the 10 care. Finest and I'm not doing push ups either. Don't don't tag me in none of your push up challenges. The top ten I got them already. IG. I already got them. No, nah, you don't. I haven't seen any nigga that follow bad at bitches in the bitches. I never I don't even want to talk about them like this. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying they're Ooh, already on my radar. Man. They're already bad, on my radar. Man. So I don't need to see that. And please stop tagging me to do the push ups. Have you done your push ups? I do push ups. And what are the rules to it? Because if somebody reposts one that you were tagged in, do you have to do ten more push ups? And if you do it, do you gotta record it again? Mm. Like let it's us, so weird. Let us know. I don't know what, how to do and also, fam, we just watched Deontay Wilder get the shit beat out of him by a man shaped like the fucking Tin Man from Wizard of Oz. He beat his ass six ways to Sunday. And that nigga's <laughs> shaped like a refrigerator. <laughs> Deontay Wilder is shaped like G.I. Joe. <laughs> that nigga is shaped like a superhero. Like, Deontay Wilder looked like Black Panther in real life. Like, the suit <laughs> and how muscular that nigga looked. Like, that's what Deontay Wilder looked like in real life. And he lost to a nigga shaped like a freezer. He wouldn't. He hit like a freezer. Shh. His fucking fist landed on him like a freezer. That nigga stopped him cold. <laughs> a couple of times. Knocked him cold. Cold cocked. <laughs> cold cocked. <laughs> cold cocked him out of. Out of consciousness, nigga. But I yeah. mean, yeah, shit. Yeah, niggas is doing live wrong. And all you niggas out there doing, all you little funny niggas, you think, call yourself comics, doing your little quote-unquote Instagram oh, live on, open mics. How, okay, now they you don't just hustle. Nobody's hustle. paying for it. They don't have to. It's exposure. What's the exposure? There's three people in the live. Uh, it's you, oh, the host, and Tone. This. Let's not do this. No, because if Tone sent me another fucking, yo, I've been seeing people, yo. We How gonna, many comics have been? Niggas, son, I saw niggas like, yo, we're going to set up chairs in the house and like have niggas and we're going to. That would be kind of lit. Gonna, no, it's not. Why not? You are diluting the art of stand-up comedy. I want you to stop it. Diluting I it? hate you niggas. You're saying what, that specifically just to Will Smith. I hate you. No, I'm not. I'm <laughs> saying it to all these comics who just These are, fake ass comics. No, no, not fake ass comics. I wanna say that. I'm not gonna say that about them, but these niggas, it's not that. They Name just them. they want attention. That's Name does, drop that has nothing to do with the content that I'm Damn. speaking to. Uh, I hate when you yo <laughs> name them, do this. Come on, man. Do it because Go I off said on, so. Nigga. No. Go off <laughs> on them. Nothing to do with the point I'm trying to make. Damn. But you niggas who are attention hungry, like stop it. We get it. like y'all niggas need that much validation. Like yo, I'm just gonna go live with it. No. Like you, I understand that these are trying times and the creative people will prosper. And as you were trying to say with creativity, but like what these niggas are doing is not creative. They're just lazy. 
How is them going live lazy? They're, they're doing... Is that the best... Look, that is not the best way. That you is, can't go literally, outside. Literally, that is the first thought to come to your mind. There was no innovation. There was no creating it. There was no like, yo, I'm going to do it like this. No, you just... Yo, I'm going to turn my phone on. I'm going to tell jokes to the phone. As if I'm on stage. You don't have a mic in your hand. You're not in a room full of people. Nobody's laughing. Like, this energy. You're diluting the fucking art of stand... Like, I hate you niggas. I hate you niggas from the bottom of my heart. I swear to God. Make a fucking Instagram clip. Go to TikTok, my nigga. Get the fuck... I don't give a fuck. She got a mic in her hand. That shit ain't even plugged in, my nigga. I don't give a fuck what these bitches is out here doing on Instagram. Y'all need to find something else to do with y'all fucking time. Go get a job on Uber Eats, my nigga. Do something. Get the Speaking fuck of off Greece. your phone. You go order the pizza. <laughs> Wait, is is that like a thing? Are they still like delivering? Like, I don't want to go against like martial law. No, there is no martial law, even though people are sure. like, yo, the, the military's in the street. Nigga, that's the National Guard giving mask. Um, the fucking the 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 machines the defibrillator type of shit like shit to all me. the supplies to pharmacies hospitals oh, okay. and like play, they they using the Javits Center the Jacob Javits Center they're opening that up as like a medical oh, thing for, shit. for beds and shit that's dope so let me give yeah that's dope question. but nigga it's only a matter of time before they open up a Walmart and be like yo this super center hey get in. Nigga. They need to. We need beds. I mean, yeah, we need beds, but then we need space for this, these people. See, this is my thing. This is my whole thing. And this is why I'm like still like in like a gray space with this. Cause yeah, I'll respect the information that's coming in, but at the same time, it's like we're just sitting back and being told what to do. We need to. I mean, yes, definitely, <laughs> rightly so. <laughs> but at the same like time, there still needs to be like a say from the people. Like, no. No, no, as far as like, yo, what's going down and how we aside from helping by, you know, doing our part, washing our hands, staying social distance and all that. Like, how can we physically say, OK, this is what we're doing to add to this just being like stopped? I hear you. And like, what can we do as people to do that? But my thing is that I feel like we can't trust society. Because we've already shown that we can't even do the simplest of tasks. We told niggas to wash their hands as if it was news. Like, this is true. We, like, yo, wash your hands. We were like, oh shit, for real? Like, get the middle of your fingers? Well, I mean, <laughs> Under your nails? Yo, I didn't even know I could stuff. do that. But, but niggas, stuff that was breaking news to people. Was. Yeah, because it was too late. Not the fact that it was too late, but when we said that, and people still weren't even doing that. You tell them social distancing, people aren't doing that. It's like, I hear what you're saying, but like to really like you, the best thing you could do is stay your ass inside. Oh yeah, no, <laughs> definitely, definitely. But I and feel to try like, to fight it. You can donate money, like th things like that. Like see you, that that right there. That's where I want to stop you. Of course, I would be more than willing to want to donate money to a cause that. Oh, would I didn't help. mean people donate money to other people. I meant corporations need to oh, donate yeah, no. to humanity. But we feel this time, motherfucker. Y'all big ass niggas who we've been helping out all this motherfucking time. Y'all talk about the economy crashing. Y'all need to give back to the fucking people. They ain't gonna do it. I That's know they never not. gonna happen. I know they not. That's what I'm saying. Like fucking airlines, yo, we need to get bailed out. No, you don't. Y'all niggas charge me thirty five dollars to bring my bag on the plane. Yeah, but at the end of the day, y'all niggas charge me if I want extra seat. Like y'all niggas charge me thirty five dollars for this. Twenty five dollars for a bag of chips on a plane, like y'all niggas. Money. They they overbook flights anyway. Like they yeah. been, they have money. They act like if people don't take flights, somebody's gonna take away the planes. Where the planes going? Planes ain't going. You can nowhere. just park them, my nigga. You can park them, but <laughs> you, you can can't park fly them after the jet fuel is yes, fucking you crazy. It, you know how much gas costs? Gas, gas costs a lot. That's why gas that's why has thirty five dollars to bring no. all your shit. Nah, for gas airplanes. Has, it's plummeted, bro. You, so you've been bro, checking gas prices yes. for airplanes? Well, I've been looking up stocks. Flying. I've been looking up stocks. I'm telling you, this shit has plummeted, my nigga. Well, yeah, because of the, the hotel right now. Like, oh, man, we got to give money back to the hotels. This is luxury living. We, why do we have to bail out luxury but, lifestyles? But we need I, to worry about the like, people on ground level. Yeah, but They that, need the most the, help. There are people part of that ground level. The airplane or the airlines have... People that are servicing those industries, those and they're getting fired. Yeah, they're getting because fired because of these fucking. What are they gonna air, do? That's of what I'm saying. They're gonna the want to bail them the out. airlines, they don't, no, they're part but of the that's the part. Workers. But that's also part of it. They've I've literally watched them ask these people. They were like, "Yo, if we give the airlines the money, are they gonna give that to their employees?" It's like, well, it's a lot of different factors. I'm like, well, like that's a yes or no question, my nigga. Well, yeah, they are. You would think of, nah. that. You would think that. 
But the way that these people talk about it, it is not going directly into the hands of their workers who are being just, misplaced and unemployed, you can't which just, is fucked up. You can't just set it up like that, though. You know, it's like, OK, the, the biggest thing I'll say to the detriment of this whole scenario going down is that the education system has tried to shift in a sense of like, yo, shit is closing up. That's one of the industries that I saw was really trying to hold it down, at least within the times everything was going down. Like I've been ro- working remotely and that, that it, wow, the, how quickly they expedited all that. I'm not sure if it's with every DOE school, every charter school, every private school, but at the same time, that's something to be said. They're looking out for not only the people that they, um, that they service, but the people that service those people that are being serviced in that industry. Yes. Now it's hard to do that in the airline, but because you got people servicing those people. But a lot of people in the airlines are going to work. Yeah, There's but, been some people being laid off, yes, but not to the effect of like other industries. Nah, I, and a lot of places that are, are forced to close during these times. Think how many those people, people travel for business alone. But nobody needs to travel anymore. You got to stay inside. Yeah, exactly. That whole there's like several different industries from that one industry being locked down, being being affected and being fucked over. Not even just because of the flying aspect, but because of the business that being done in the area. Because of so. what, what what the benefits you get from flying, but that is a luxury. Yeah, I don't know. It's definitely a luxury. But and that's, that's what I'm saying. Go. Like that's not a. It's gone. That shouldn't be the top priority of who needs the money. That's my bigger point. These are the things in society that give us the connecting power. Yeah, that's we got what phones. I feel. We got Wi-Fi. We got, yeah, phones. But we look at what we do with it. I'm. T- let me tell you something but there's other businesses that are actually giving back to their employees i want to take a moment to highlight them um there was a bar in atlanta on their last day of um being open yeah all their customers came together to like put money in like a pot for the for the workers so that way they could pay their bills while the the restaurant is closed that shit was dope that's so dope. That's dope. That's dope. also other people, like you said, have been innovating, creativity, figuring their ways out around this shit. Son, the Atlanta strip club Magic City oh figured God. out a way to do interactive lap dances on Instagram Live. Why, <laughs> why is this news that's being reported that people know about? And that, why did the strip club say that they were going to do this? They're going to take 24 hours all access peak into their close friends list and on live stream Instagram for $20 to get access to it. They've also even, they still even have their shifts for girls to work. They have their three to the three to nine and then they have their nine to 3 a.m. So now the regulars can like, just, yeah, that, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they said it with so much lit. glee. Niggas, oh is, niggas is using Instagram for the right reasons. There's certain people doing that, man. I, you know how many times like I've been on live, I've gone to a live that wasn't an open mic or niggas is bullshit. There's been people who've been going on Instagram live and like there's been bitches out. Yo, so many women have been getting naked. <laughs> so many women have been getting naked. It's the way you phrase it. So many women being naked. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. First off, first off, first off, first off. Why is this something that you know? Secondly, is this something that you're Fam, looking for? Actively? Time has, like I said, time is a man, time has really felt like a man-made construct to me. So there's just been times I was like, oh shit, somebody going live. I've never seen this person go live, and I just go and I'm like, yo, why is this person naked? Then I look at the top right, top left corner of my phone, I'm like, oh, it's three a.m. Out here just getting so chilling. these are the hours that people be trapping and doing this. That's, eh, I mean, hey, shout out to you if you if that's what you want to do. Again, I do appreciate all the people that are being creative on live right now, or at least online while we're. Put away. your pussy lips on live, I give you a thousand dollars. Never mind, I take it back. Put your pussy lips on live, I give you a thousand dollars. Boosie, actually, just hearing it back, the way. He said it over there. It sounded a little aggressive, and I don't, I don't know if we can. What you mean? He sounded know. really upset. That nigga sounded like he was he was getting a haircut. You heard that? <laughs> <laughs> he was getting a haircut. <laughs> nigga just went out of know. Put your pussy lips on live. I get you a thousand dollars. How you do that? In why this? do you have that much disposable income? <laughs> and why are you that upset getting oh. a haircut? <laughs> well, well, listen, coronavirus going around, so you don't want it. Yo, barbershops are closed. So many people are upset. The nail salons are closed. So many bitches is upset. They can't get their nails done. Where do you need your nail? Where are you going? Where are you going? The living room. That you need your nails done. Oh, yeah. No, it, it, listen. This- I seen some girls like, yo, I never shaved before. I only get it waxed and now I can't. Oh, nah. Listen. I'm starting to open up. I'm, listen, ladies. I'm opening up a waxing service. If you want to, you know, hit me up in the DMs and we can, we can figure it out. 
No, we can get to the bottom of this. No, no don't. No, no. I'm, I'm not going to let them do this to you before you get you know, famous. You, you want to join in, bro? Hell no. I'm not doing no damn wax. You want OnlyFans? So many girls been going on OnlyFans. In these trying times, people are doing anything to make ends meet. You know, actually, you know what? Shout out to the sex workers. They're going to be making a lot of money while people are at home. I feel... You know I'm. I feel bad for any nigga spending money on sex workers. Why? <laughs> That's the last thing I'm spending my fuck. Yo, like, nah. Shout out to the sex workers though. Get your coin. You out here being creative, ma. But let me tell you something. <laughs> I am not giving you a penny of my monies. You ain't getting. No- I'm unemployed, bitch. You ain't getting none of this. Nigga gonna hit the preview like fifty times. The preview. <laughs> I'm searching up that that folder, my nigga. That, fucking that mega, mega file. file that mega you file. You ain't low, man. Yo, hey, we in there? Oh, yeah. Basically, we've been talking about coronavirus for how long, Tone? How, what time are we at? Twenty minutes? Thirty minutes? Where we at? <laughs> Forty minutes on 40 coronavirus? Minutes. Damn. Oh shit! I mean, Damn. it's a lengthy topic. Corona is crazy. That's the only thing that's Yo, going on. Yo, Harvey Weinstein got coronavirus, my nigga. <laughs> Shout out! Yes, that's lit. That's fucking lit, man. I thought it was fake. I feel like they're saying that about the right and wrong celebrities just to let us, like, you know, be like, oh shit, who got it now? Like, put your pussy lips on live. I'll give you a thousand. <laughs> that's just mad funny. That's why. See, now this is this is. But according to Niagara, <laughs> according to Niagara Gazette reports, Harvey Weinstein has the COVID nineteen coronavirus. I don't know if this is real. I'm just telling you what I saw. I saw it as a meme first. I'm like, nah, it's fake. Then Twitter hit me with the notification, like, nah, he really got it. And I was like, Psh. Twitter is your last, like. Check for like yo, this but not like no, not like on the timeline. I'm talking about the app gave me oh, the notification. The app, oh. yeah, yeah, it wasn't like yo, people I mean, were talking like when people try to say that Oprah got raided because <laughs> she was running the underground sex like sex workers thing for children. What the fuck? Yeah, people were saying that, but that was not real. I think we talked about this last week. Remember yeah, Gabe I think said, so, yeah. but still, like hearing yeah. it again, like I know, I know. Why is that a thing that you're associated with? Me? That's, no, no, oh. like Oprah. Like, <laughs> I hope not, nigga. It's, shit, man. Niggas is out here getting mad as fuck on. <laughs> I'm not. All right, let me see if there's anything else not coronavirus related. Everything was corona. Man. Son, also, yeah, shout out to the fucking um, the Florida commissioner who called out the mayor for abusing her power. And the other nigga who would like they made the people pay their rent for this month and then they put the like, all right, now you gotta pay. Mm. They put the suspension on it after the fact, after people gave up what could have been their last checks because they out of work. Yeah. And he um. put them he put the motherfuckers on blast. So let me get that nigga around for it. Man, I saw that and I was like Omari oh, Hardy. You, nah. My guy. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, okay, when it comes to stuff like that, especially when there's other people in power. And you have to oversee other people and what they might and might might not need. Like, nah. I don't want to see that shit. Humanity over capitalism. Oh, shout out to Rihanna. Yeah, no, she donated over five hundred thousand dollars to um the, I thought it was like five million. Not five million, it was five hundred thousand. Five hundred thousand. Well, well 500, either way. It might, it might something nah, like not five hundred million. I mean I know she got money, money, but I think it's five hundred thousand that to um to get the machines for people who need the, Shout um, out Rihanna the respirators, yes. Donate money and being lit. She's so fun. I'm sorry. She is. Okay. Not just like her features, just like, you know, the her as a spirit, like what she does. No? Okay. All right. All right. I'm just looking for something that I can talk about that happened during the week that isn't <laughs> nothing. Everything. That isn't Meek saying women are trash. That isn't <laughs> coronavirus related. Like any. Maybe that's meme. how this virus started because you kept saying women are trash. This virus will never change the fact that. <laughs> it can't. It can't. It can't. It's never going to change the fact. No, man. Come on, man. I'm trying to see what else happened. All Everything. Right. So, in the news, cheating husband was. Oh, damn, bitch. Cheating husband was infected with the coronavirus while on a trip to Italy with his mistress. Yo. (laughs) I know. Wildin'. Wildin'. (laughs) I'm not playing this clip about the woman talking about men with the nine to five. 
Oh, the Ray what? J shit. Yeah, that's crazy. I don't want to talk about the Ray J shit. That was wild. Damn, nothing happened? Yeah, nothing happened that wasn't uh, Corona related. Stay your ass inside. Find yourself. I feel like people are just not happy with themselves. So they, they refuse to be alone with their real self because oh, yeah. then their demons will come out. Well, e- even all still, the issues let that they, All the issues that these people need to work on, yeah. they are just avoiding it <laughs> and yeah. going out and hanging out with people. No, stay home, work on those damn demons. Yeah, word. Yes, shout out to that. that. That is a movement that you need to do, especially if you're someone that said, hey, I have to be out all the time. I need to be a social butterfly. No, maybe you need to be social with yourself. Socialize with yourself and don't social distance with yourself. Social instance. I don't know. Some shit. But still. Take this time of solitude and enjoy it. Please. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, nothing else happened this week that wasn't like coronavirus related or women being trash. <laughs> uh, other than that laugh. Uh, it's just funny. I can't. It's hard for me to be like, hey, women. I'm trying to just not. Attack. It's still Women's History Month, right? Yeah, it's more. <sighs> they making it hard for <laughs> nigga to not be toxic. Wait. I'm just telling you. No, it was the thing. I saw the thing about the women talking about she can't have no man with a nine to five. Well, I mean, I I would rather try and just own my own business and be about my own business, man. But if a woman told you she can't be with you because you have a nine to five. I'm good with that. That's your that's your preference. Cool. Mm -hmm. If that's how it is. I hate women with these standards, but that they don't have any real life example to point out. Well, like, what are you basing this off of, Ma? Like, you I. I hate it when it's like, yo, you're going to put that standard on somebody, but you don't have that standard achieved yourself. Like, don't ask or seek the same shit that you ain't got for yourself. Like, word? I'm a bum nigga? I don't even choose to look like a bum nigga. I'm popping in real life. No? Huh? Okay. Nah, I, I'm letting you get your shit off, bro. I mean, I feel like, you know what? Nah, I try to play coy, but like, in, in all actuality, like, I hold back my energy. Sometimes you got to release yourself. Now, I have a topic that is not coronavirus related or mm. women are trash related. Okay. Right person, wrong time. White person, wrong time? Right person, <laughs> oh. not white person. Because, yeah, with that's, an R. Because that, that, that first one was. White people are always at the wrong time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought it started at 11. <laughs> you shouldn't be here at it all. Came on time. <laughs> You need to go back where you came. Why aren't they cooking yet? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, they show up to the wrong cooking. It's eleven thirty p.m. <laughs> we were on time. Why Got is here nothing? Be, nothing's being served. They just keep dancing. <laughs> so, so right, right person, wrong, wrong time. Person. Is that a real thing? Do you believe in it? Do you support that theory? Or what are you feeling? What are your thoughts? At a time, I wanted to. I definitely wanted to because it's like you you get in good with somebody and you're like, ah, oh, damn. But this shit is going on. <laughs> Whatever X shit is on in the background, you know? So I wanted to believe that, but I, I think it's just like, yo, if you can't make it work right in that moment, just do you. Go about your day. Just keep going. I don't believe in it. Yeah, I can't really like subscribe I think to it. I, I, after a certain age, you come to realize that you are responsible for yourself and how you respond to situations and opportunities. Oh yeah. So right. if you meet a person and you feel, I understand that you know there are trying times. I'd be like, damn, this probably isn't the most idealistic of times, but you have to be able to like you got it for yourself because that's your accountability to be like you know what fuck it I'm gonna try or, damn I'm gonna put my best foot forward or I'm gonna challenge myself to become better. Or do whatever needs to be done to make the situation work. I mean, it's a choice. Yeah, no, it's definitely a choice. And whether or not you choose to act on it or not is on you. I never like to push the issue though. What do you mean? Like, okay, like let's say I'm out, and you know there might be a person that you know I'm interested in. I want to like you know see it further, but at the same time I'm like, eh, it's not the best time. It's not the best time. Well, when is there is never the most I know ideal. there's never a best time, but like <laughs> that's, at the same it, it time, it starts to seem like an excuse no, to no, never act. No, no, this this is my thing. I think this is the big thing that I always see myself in, especially when I'm like about to start a relationship. I don't want to burden that person with whatever I'm like trying to like finish off. Like if I have un uh, like uncared for business or whatever, I'm gonna just wait and be like, okay, uh, it's nice to know you, but I can't do this right now. Like we gotta wait. Why? 
Why? Because I, I still have unresolved things I got to fix. Like, like stuff that I might be like trying to do, like work, traumas, trying to meet myself, trying to better myself. Like, I don't want to like envelop that person within that process when they're probably like doing their own thing and they're like set. But then at that point, you're kind of, rem- don't, do you feel like you might be removing that person's option of choice? Because at that point, you can let them know what's going on with you and that oh, you yeah. would like to continue. Like, yo, I have this, I'm oh. dealing with this and I want to, f- I want to work on this, but I feel like we have something special and you got to let it be that person's, you know, you're not asking for them to help you or to fix oh, yeah. you. No, no, no. But at that point, it's like, you got to make it that person, the other person's choice or whether or not they continue to want to, see you or not my only thing is if it's a mutual thing i'm cool for letting that person know why i'm stepping back because i know it's if you've already be, made the decision to step back it's like you you remove their choice what if they still want no, to try to see I, you no it's not removing their choice okay, I'm, I'm still gonna have that link there and say okay yo listen obviously there's something between us that i enjoy you enjoy but at the present moment what I'm doing and what I'm going through requires my full attention towards myself and what I'm trying to get past. Mm-hmm. Now, I would love to see the opportunity of a relationship starting something and going towards it. But at this moment, I'm not going to be, I'm, I'm going to be real. I'm not going to be a hundred percent there. Mm-hmm. And look, when I get into a relationship, I want to be committed to that point where I'm saying you have my undivided attention. I feel like sometimes as people, we give ourselves impossible standards for ourselves to want to not and not say we shouldn't set the goal so high but it's almost unrealistic because it's like it's like when people do that whole thing of like man if i lost 15 pounds got my hip straight and got some more muscle and started doing it yo it's over for you bitches so why don't you do it right now that's what i'm saying but but that's what it it almost starts to sound like that where it's like yo once i fix these demons and work on my traumas (laughs) oh i love the shit out of you no but it's like i could do that and still love you as best as i can in this moment and it will continue to grow do you want to continue to deal with me but i feel like it's detrimental to me and my growth because like when i was like you know going through what i was going through i realized that i had a lot of support around me but the biggest thing that i didn't take like heat of was that i needed to be like independent Mm -hmm. in getting through what it was that i was going through yes because it's like okay i have all these other outliers like saying okay this is what you should do this is what you could do i'm getting support but at the same time, I'm not listening to myself and what I want to do. And within that, I feel like people would using you as an example and, you know, to make it a bigger point with people, you need to, uh, I guess, in a sense, practice compartmentalization in a sense where you can have an element of individuality, of elements of you, just you, your time, your space and still have your relationship. And, you know, mm. just how you maneuver those um the sliders almost like a video game. Yeah. It's like, all right, my my personal goal stat like sliders are all the way up right now because that's what's important. That's my priority. My relationship slide is a little bit down, but the person says that they're cool with that, so that's okay. And as I continue to work on myself, the sliders will adjust over time. This is why I say nay to that. I was in a long relationship and I felt like the goals that I had for myself and the goals that I had set in the relationship were clashing and were not being put in that box of compartmentalization. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, the way I want to go forward, I don't want to have to compartmentalize each situation. I want to be able to say, okay, I'm in this situation. I'm showing my awareness of myself and I'm centered in what it is I want to do. Let me see the situation for what it is. Just like, you know, if I'm meeting a person, I'm going to say, hey, this is a great person that I want to interact with. But at the same time, I still have some unfinished business that I have to take care of on my end. I yeah, still but we're be always going to be working on ourselves. Of course. But so I, I, I mean, in the sense of like, OK, it's not detrimental to what this person is doing with themselves. It's not detrimental to uh, the meeting of the minds and saying, oh, hey, let's explore each other. But, Okay. Because they're going to start exploring me and it's going to be yeah. parts or pieces of what I'm trying to move past from. That's yeah. what I mean more, more so or less. Mm-hmm. So it's like. No, no, I hear you. I hear you a thousand percent. And like I said, that's where it falls into being that other person's choice on whether or not they want to continue doing it or not. Now, I, I hear what you're saying. You're saying in the sense of like, yo, I feel responsible because I feel like, why would I want to invite somebody into that? Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but then I think the biggest thing I want to say is like, if that is the case, if that person is still willing to be like, oh, I'm down, I'm still like coming at you from the point of like, yo, 
I'm not trying to move forward right now. I'm still trying to move forward with, like with myself and what I'm doing. Like I'm good. But don't I you feel think- like you can say that and then the person can respect that. That's like just saying, hey, no means no. Well, yeah, obviously people have that, but that's what I'm saying. Like people are going to get into those moments where you're going to be like, yo, now's not the time for love for me. Boom. I get that. I'm yeah. with you. People are there. And I'm just saying there's other people who use that as an excuse mm. to not necessarily want to move forward with anything. That kind of almost falls back into the reassurance argument from last week with Gabe, but you know, he not here. So he, uh, <laughs> he not here to defend that I argument. I don't know. 90 might have to be the one. Who? Episode ninety, got to bring the mood guy back. Got to make sure that he got to stop ducking me. Talk about yo, it's a flight. <laughs> yeah, he out here. Yeah, uh huh. I hope he come back. Hiding at work, hiding behind his desk. All right, hiding behind his desk. <laughs> hiding behind his desk, like I'm gonna show up, <laughs> telling him reassurance ain't shit. So I got into so many debates about reassurance. Yeah, how did that go? Because I feel like some people was coming for you. Did you read any of those comments? No. <laughs> I didn't want to because I, I was like, oh, damn, they're going to say something about me. No, nobody said anything about you. Thank God. <laughs> nobody. Nobody. Thank God. Okay. 32 comments, bro. Jeez. On that Instagram live video. Wait a minute. There's been a lot. There was a Wait lot of debate. Wait a minute. A lot of people were saying things to the effect of like, yo, I could give it. A My whole biggest argument in there was it's not needed. But to I, I'm going to rope this back in. It's not necessarily needed to, for a person to say that they need reassurance Mm -hmm. is to me what i hear from that is saying that yo they need to work on the assurance part the first part Mm. because the need re those two words to me are is like is red it's a red flag for me it's a red sign because it's like you need reassurance i have to keep going Okay, but Th- there's a difference between reassurance and consistency, and I think a lot of people mix terms up. And I was saying there's also a difference between supporting your partner and reassuring them. Like I think a lot of what people were speaking to, like with Gabe and people in the comment section, was speaking to supporting your partner mm. through a hard time. Yeah, yeah of course support, you can do course. that. I'm talking about reassurance in a sense, and that's why I asked the question: reassuring what per se? Okay, I think that's what it really is because I feel like the reassurance is the aspect of like, okay, what is it that I'm reassuring? I think that's what I was trying to get at when I was like really on the ball of saying, "Yo, I feel like reassurance in a relationship is needed." I mean, just because of like, okay, look at where you are or, or look at the milestones that you might have reached. Okay, you've, you've already had a year in or you moved in together or you're starting to see about joint accounts or something like that. Reassurance in the sense of like, yo, you got me. I got you. Are we good? You that's know, not reassurance. Check-ins. If you're I trying like to do something new, if you're doing, so- if you're looking at something to do something new, that doesn't feel to me. That doesn't count. Reassure. Okay, that doesn't fall under reassurance in, in, in the sense that okay, that's if, preparation. That yeah, preparation. But at the same time, when I mean reassurance, I'm meaning like okay, we're about to do something that might seem like big. Yeah, for two people that mm-hmm. are in a union. Do I have like? Are you here with me? Are we good? I know See, we have whatever have, going on, but that's like you're having that conversation. Are we are we together? That's just assuring your person, but then to but revisit. The but no, you're no, revisiting. No, but then, it's but, it, but you no, just but wait. It. Let me let me I finish. No, you don't. Yeah, you're not listening. I'm, you're doing I'm, what you did last week. Don't reassure just, me. I got it. <laughs> you're doing what you did last no. week when you just belittle me and make fun of me. I'm not belittling you. No, 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 no. I know. Let me, let me, let me, let me. Let's let me let me start doing that. No, get. I'm listening. Okay, what I mean with reassurance is basically saying, yo, are we here together? Are we here together? I feel like those are things in a relationship Okay, that you need to do. You need to check in so that way you, you can say, hey, okay, as like two people on this journey together, doing what we're doing separately, aside from each other, when we come together, are we good? Are we, are we still here? Are we still... Do we still have that chemistry that drew us together? Do we still have that thing that is like undefinable to other people and it's just definable to us? Is that something that we still have? Reassurance? I feel like people need that in a relationship. No. I, 
I okay. I, okay. Let me, no, no, let me go where I'm saying. So I think what you were speaking on, like I said, this is where people get certain things mixed up. Like I said, um, where people fall into, and it goes back into what I was saying before about the other thing, <laughs> where it comes to um, right person, wrong time. Mm. Um, yeah. When you want to do milestone actions in a relationship, you want to check in to say, yo, you got this, you got that. To me, that's just checking in. That's a, but for me, reassurance is not just checking in. It's like, yo, you got this? Yo, you got your thing? Yeah, I got my thing. Yo, you got your, yeah, I got my thing. Cool. We, we agree. We're going to go do that. And then as you're getting ready to walk into the place, you're like, yo, you still got your thing, right? Come on, nigga. I just told you. Like that's that that's reassurance to me. Like things like that is what falls under I, reassurance. Not what you're speaking on checking milestones and preparation. I mean, on like an emotional level. Even emotionally, well, like I've been in relation with women. Like, yo, I'm insecure sometimes. I need you to just you know make me feel nice and let me know I'm important to you. It's like I'm with you. What are you talking about? But <laughs> I'm not no, fucking somebody but, else. <laughs> you are no, obviously important thing. to me. Why do you need me to make a gesture to make you feel better? Because the reassurance part, and this is where I'm going to the reassurance part, the re, the repeat, the the reaction, like that repeat of an action to redo it again. That part, the saying a person telling me that they need me to redo it again. That's different than consistency. To redo something to refuel their own self esteem is to say. That that they have a root issue that they are not working on, that they are solely depending on their partner to refuel, that they are not challenging themselves to become better, which goes back into saying the whole part that I was speaking on when it comes to right person, wrong time. You could say that everybody has personal situations. Everybody has problems. What are you doing to work on that to become better? I've had times where I've isolated myself away from women for years at a time and said, I don't want to date. But then I got to a point to say, how do I know if I'm even better if I never challenge myself to actually date how do i know if what i'm doing is working so if i meet somebody i can't be afraid to say yo i don't know i gotta no let me try it out let me see if what i've been doing is working if i am working on myself it let me prove it that i that i can be with another person i can try it if i'm facing like tumultuous times and shit like that like you got to be able to challenge yourself and how do you know you're really challenging yourself if you're not putting yourself forward and and taking advantage of opportunities. If you say you wanted a job, you can't be like, yo, I don't know if my resume is enough. I need somebody to tell. No, you got to put yourself out there and do it. Like, you got to take action. That was my ultimate point when it came to reassurance and tying it back into right person, wrong time. What's Tone texting me? <laughs> nah, I don't know. I, I, I hear what you're saying, but the biggest thing I just heard from that was, do you feel your partner saying I love you is uh, an example of reassurance? And if that's so... Is that something that you don't really... I feel like a lot of people use it as a crutch for reassurance. Like, they use it... Because, like, that's what... They tell me you love me? Yeah, like, shit like that. Like, I remember I got to an age where I felt like people only said I love you just to make sure if the other person loved them back. Like, they're only saying it to hear the other person. Mm. They may not even mean it, but they're saying it just to hear it back. To know if the other person loves them, too. Because if you really love somebody and your love is fucking pure, you can tell somebody you love them and it doesn't matter how they respond. Yeah. Of course, like, but, but I feel like, okay, again, reassurance. You can tell them. Conditional love. No, 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 no. Ah, come on. You sit there putting labels love is on. Love conditional. But, nigga. I only love you if you tell me you love me back. Shut the fuck up. Okay, my fault. <laughs> Listen, my I'm fault. saying, if you are, like you said, being genuine and pure about your intent and your intention with it, I feel like reassurance is something along the lines of that. You're reassuring that person of uh, maybe an insecurity that you're trying to get through. Maybe you're you're showing that in a, a form of support. It's not like you're holding their hand and saying, "Oh, nah, I got you. We're gonna do this." It like you're not doing that in the sense of being their crutch or just letting them like get away with shit. You're just being like, "Yo, I'm letting you know. Yeah, you are like my girl. Like I'm in this relationship with well, you. You're beautiful. Is, you're saying you're this, that you're to that. heal what." You're saying that to do to to fix what root issue with the person. I I, I am not a therapist. I I strongly suggest that those get people that. get therapy. I, and I will support that. you yes, in that. Yes, yes, that's that's not reassurance. That's but I that's feel like support. The, the reassurance comes from being able to listen to the person, hearing what it is that their need is, hearing what it is that they have. But I can't a, against them, and trying to say, okay, listen. I'm going to reassure you that I'm going to support you through whatever it is that you're going through. And I'm also going to show you that you are the person that's going to be able to help yourself. through. But if you're already doing it, what do you read? What's the point of reassuring it? 
if you was already doing it, nothing happened that you were going to stop doing it. So that person just knows because that you're a person is with them. But if a person feels nervous and worried and all of that other stuff okay, that you're okay, saying. That, that's perfect. If someone feels nervous, wouldn't you want to be reassured that, yo, okay, maybe it'll be okay if you at least know that a person is by your side that wants to support you. Time tells you. all truths. Time confirms okay. all, all answers that you need. Ta- wait, time tells all truths and time tells all answers? Yeah. Isn't that a about reassurance people. that you need? No. Isn't time a social construct that you were just talking about that yes. doesn't really exist? Exactly. So how are we going to even go with fucking time? We got to reassure ourselves somehow, right? You don't have... That's, and that's... There you go. Oh, so you why do you have style? You have to reassure. You don't. You don't have to wear a watch. I don't. Style. You don't have to wear that. For, I don't. That's, that's like when That's like when, when niggas say like, oh, like why you got all that makeup on for me? Like, and girls like, no, nigga, this for me. That's reassurance that's, for themselves? No, that's not reassurance. That's just them making a choice. Like, like I said, reassurance isn't all these different things that Instagram you guys are mixing is reassurance. into that. No, it's you not. might as well just people call Instagram use it as that. People, yeah, they use it people, as... People who are insecure can use it as that, but that's not what okay, it is. So how that's what I'm saying. People that People can get who are insecure insecurities without having a ha- therapy. reassurance. Therapy. Okay. So even Go to after, the root issue. <laughs> Work so on yourself. Compliments. Take Fuck your compliments time. now. Fuck them. Compliments aren't for reassurance. Yes, it is. You oh just my. said the whole thing about makeup is like, yo, you wore that for me? Yo, yeah, and it's fire. not. That's saying women, no, nigga, I wore that for myself. Fuck you. Reassurance. That's not re- What's reassured in that moment? Because they did it for themselves. What are they reassuring? That, that's a I'm choice a that they bitch. made. I'm a bad bitch. Yes, exactly. That's they who they want to be. That's exactly. not reassuring. That's they, them make, making a choice is a reassuring. I don't know. Like I said, that, you, you, like, the, the re part, like, that's the. You can It's a repeat So why I keep putting it, on makeup They no. reassuring themselves Every time Yo I can do my edges All the time No That's oh, not man, reassurance never mind. <laughs> never mind And as never Gabe mind. said You're bad with examples I am I am really bad with examples But that's why I'm here mm. So you guys can correct me let And I can get better know. Let these niggas know Hold Exactly on. Hold on Let these niggas know That's exactly it That's why I'm here And you ain't Sorry Gabe Gabe <laughs> Yeah Gabe <laughs> But yeah no, nah, You know I, I still feel This is like a, a topic That I still gotta sit with and, and, and figure out How I'm gonna best you at Because I feel like This is something That you secretly need In a relationship It's just the way That it's being presented to you Is you not just have the support, way that you support You can have encouragement You can have yes, all these Different yes, things Yes those are all Different things But I feel like Reassurance is one of those things That you It's detrimental To a relationship Where you're, you're wow. literally You're going back To that one token That one commonality that says yo this well, is what holds us together why haven't we spoken on the importance of therapy and support no therapy is great of course but why haven't we speaking just go and there communicating with your partner is effectively great. effectively yes effectively now that's a that's is, a big part we, we effectively that people don't not every human being is going to be equipped with the knowledge of how to communicate effectively with every motherfucker that they meet that's yes. impossible and but, you know also that falls under something that i saw today where somebody was like yo i shouldn't have to tell you how to love me tell you how to do all these things it's like to me, that's the laziest, yeah. unaccountable shit I've ever heard in my life. Do you feel you can make mistakes as a human being? Everybody does. She lied to me. Sorry. Everybody can make mistakes, and everybody should have room for mistakes. We are humans. But mistakes are... And it also of, depends on the mistake. That's why I say you got to have bit discretion. Of mistakes are a little bit of reassurance. No, they're not. What are you talking about? Because if you keep making mistakes, it's a repeat of what you're doing. That's not reassurance. If somebody makes mistakes, that is an action if showing you who tells, they are. If someone time tells, tells all truths about people. The man, the, time is a social, which is concept. a man-made construct that helps people gauge the actions of others. Yes, I understand what I'm saying. <laughs> just like reassurance, it helps you gauge the reaction. It's just others. a word that I feel like niggas don't know the answer to. Who has a yeah. higher sex drive, men or women? Um, I would say I have a higher sex drive. You think I you have a to. higher sex drive than women? Yeah. You haven't met a horny woman. Yeah. Yeah, I have. You haven't met a real, a truly horny woman. I a think nympho. I, I think I did what I had to do. Is what what you're failing to realize? <laughs> See, I hear what you're saying, but <laughs> I, I don't think you hear what I'm saying. <laughs> I hear what you're saying. I, no, you did your thing. I get you. You 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 got the job done. That's what you're saying, right? You sent it dirty macking me. All I'm the way not through dirty macking you. I'm yeah. complimenting you. You did your thing. Now you got I need the some job reassurance. Done. Now I need a no, rebalance. Yes, therapy. I do. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, we all do. Yes, I do. I definitely do. <laughs> <laughs> Women are hornier than men. I mean, okay. In what sense? When you say higher sex drive, I'm sitting there thinking of just sex, like just. Women act. are way hornier than men. Okay, that's that thought process, but I'm sitting there thinking of the act. When you say sex drive, I'm thinking like, go, let's let's go, like we about to like get on 
and do it with the shits. We in the act. Well, men normally have to make the first move in a sense traditionally. So, you know, we tend to be a little bit more, you know, forthcoming with our actions. Well, does that, a little d- bit more. Define sex drive in your eyes. What, what, what do you mean? Just by? horniness of how much oh, a person. Horniness. Oh, okay, so yeah, yeah, are yeah, yeah than definitely. Women. Yeah, yeah. Women oh, yeah. are hornier than niggas. No, definitely, definitely. I'm not talking about how hard you trying to get at it. <laughs> that I mean, that's different because men no, are way yeah. more aggressive. With oh their, yeah, with their, with, unfortunately, yeah, with their forwards of actions and things like that. Hey, yo, ma. Yo, how would you feel even. if you was with your girl and like a group of niggas hollered at her while you were right there with her? I'd be like, yo, I'm the gay nigga that she's with right now. <laughs> Thank you. I had the, the I be like y'all trying to fuck y'all. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> what's good? Ow. I, <laughs> oh, what's good? Yes, nigga. Yes, Yo, yes. Fight <laughs> Buy us a drink. Yo, if we get a free drink off of that. Hey, yo. Listen, I'm just saying this. <laughs> you went you got two into character. <laughs> that was I was I was being method for a second. Oh, my fault. M E T H O D. Man. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, da, 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 since women da, da. are so horny, are so horny, how do you feel like a woman shot this shot at you? If ever, all they did was walk up, look at me, and be like, "Nah," because I ain't say nothing in time. That's probably it. That's how they shot their shot. They looked at me. It's like, Fuck, <laughs> for real. <laughs> no, for speak on it. I, okay, there was this one time I was actually like at a um like a performance like right after got off stage this chick like saw me at the bar and she was like she looked at me and stupidly I'm inside and I had shades on she was like you look better without the shades I was like oh thank you thank you so I took off the shades she's like you want to dance I'm like no <laughs> she said no I said no oh <laughs> I mean, I thought she was just trying to tell me I was ugly. I thought she was trying to like front on me, and she was going like laugh in a group chat with her friends. <laughs> that's what they do all the time. I swear, no. oh god, that's not. Do. Yes, that's why I have to calculate every message I ever send out. Ever, you see what this dumb nigga said. I you feel swear like you're just going to end up in a group there chat? There are five women looking over a phone or sending screenshots to each other simultaneously at any given moment in the world. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. See? Yeah. Just because niggas likely. do the same thing. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no. I feel like men have more and more respect for the other gender than women have for us, especially in regards of secrecy. Didn't we share a mega file? No, I said in terms of secrecy, as in men, especially in relationships, you are going to keep your girl secrets to yourself. You're not telling your niggas that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, niggas might talk about, like, yo, I fucked this bitch and did that. But, like, when it comes to, like, your girl secrets and shit, you keep that. I feel like women don't have the same respect for men. Because why does her homegirls know my secrets? Damn. Why do they know intimate details about my everyday living? Well, I think think we fail to realize what is actually being divulged. Like you said, like the body count on the men's side, yes. Women. They be like, yeah, shit little. No, and, and sometimes be, and sometimes girls be like, yo, his sex is mad dope, and then they wonder why they friend like us. Has that ever happened to you? Hmm? I got another topic on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's good. No, that's definitely happened. That's definitely that's a thing. That is a thing that I women continue that to do because they tell too much information about their relationship to their friends. Is that really a thing? Yes, that women tell their friends. If you really holding it down and killing it with your girl, not not talking about sexually, I'm talking about yeah. romantically, financially, or whatever. You holding it down. You doing the damn thing for your girl. You oh, holding it not. down. She's telling her friends, and her friends are looking at you like a good nigga because women don't do this thing where they be like, "Oh, he's a nice." You've heard the Chris Rock joke where they be like, "Oh, he's so." nice you know when men when men see they do yo look at my dude son yo he having a good yeah he having a good relationship yo i gotta give me a girl like that when girls see a girl with a dude that's holding it down they be like i want him (laughs) (laughs) that is a real thing and that be that comes from women talking too much I, i mean i guess it speaks to the bigger thing that they have a support system yeah so they think 
Men don't have that same shit. I mean, we have like a brotherhood or an understanding and be like, oh, my niggas, whatever, right? We have something different. Yeah, it's different. Se, I mean, I think women they, call it a support system and it's not. It isn't no, 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 something no. that I would call a support system. I'll call it a support system. And I'll tell you why. Because they are able to emotionally gauge each other and check each other whilst being able to have witty banter and hide it in a manner that they're able to like go about their ways and, and still do what they got to do. I have friends who I have known and been cool with for over 15 years. I don't know anyone. I don't know. I can't name more than four. I can't name more than two women who can say the same. And I know niggas who've like, yo, this my boy. We've been boys since we were seven years old. We've been friends yeah. for over twenty years. Yeah. We've been friends over. I don't know women who have like these decade long friendships with friends. Yeah, they, they, yeah, they'll they say, do. oh, we were cool. Then I'll be like, yo, y'all had like falling outs, and then I'll say, be like, yeah. Well, okay. oh yeah, we didn't talk for five years at one point. Mm. Men don't have that, or, or less you, likely you, to have that. Yeah, yeah, you you have like a falling out or, or anything like that. But I get what you mean. Damn, and that's what I mean. Yeah, but when I say I, I, I wouldn't call I, it. I think it's support this. systems of people no, who check no. each other and know each other. Because it, it, and that's it, where a lot of fights come from. Because you got a bitch who don't really know trying to tell nah, you about yourself, nah, okay, and that's why okay. she want to. <laughs> no, okay. I, th I think the biggest thing we got against us as men is that we don't tap into our emotions as strongly as they would, or as often as we should, or as often. Yeah, we're not like you know reassuring ourselves of our emotions. We're not sitting there checking in and seeing what it is that we gotta be doing. Because sometimes we don't even know what we want to do with ourselves. So how can exactly. we ask that of other people? But but you've been saying this for to, forever. But to speak to that, you have another side that is more in tune with that. So how is it that they wouldn't be upset with the way we moving and sitting there operating? And why wouldn't they be upset with people that are on equal terms or if not higher um, emotional intelligence than what they are? Or I don't feel like they have a higher emotional intelligence. Yes, they I do. Don't, yes, I they don't. do. Yes, Some they do. women do when they reach a certain point of okay. maturity, but yes. not all of them. And I feel like they've been using that mm. shit as a guard to be like, all of it's us. It's not a guard. It ain't, no. It's not a guard. That's I'm saying, a late uh, thing. But no, I think I, I understand what you're saying. I don't think they all possess it. They all have the ability to obtain it. Just like I niggas. don't think that they all have it. Just it's like just niggas. less likely, and we are not stereotypically known as a gender to have it. Emotional intelligence. Yeah. But there's niggas out there who are, like, I will seek for the most advice from. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when it comes to emotional shit. And you I try to cherish myself as somebody like that, who has a high level of emotional intelligence. And... Yeah, yeah. We talk about this, too, with the men's meeting and shit like that. Yeah. Having men's with their kids and just setting an example of men talking about emotions amongst other men. I understand that and breaking those stereotypes. But when it comes to women, I'm not giving them that. Because as I've gotten older, I have seen... <laughs> I have seen it. I'm like, no, nah, y'all don't have it. You're like, no, what is all this shit that y'all talking about? Because it's not there. Mm. It ain't there. It's not there, especially in today's woman of today's generation. I barely see it amongst women among my age group. That's different. Like, I don't see this sisterhood. I don't see this checks and balances of emotion. I don't see this support system. I don't see this. That's different, Evan, because it's not. Inform me. We got like three minutes left. Because it's New York women, bro. New York women move okay. different. Okay. They move different, bro. It's expound different. on that. I, I'm, expound. I'm, 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 I'm following you. You know how New York women have expound? a different energy. You yeah. know what energy they come with? They say fuck out of here, suck my dick. Say yes. less. And they say say less. They throw their wig at you and throw Let hands. The Tim's tap, yeah, all that shit. They about they paper. They independent. They moving on. They progressive. And I don't see the emotional check. Yeah, in because you know why? Because they're sitting there checking in with the Emo same yeah. people. New on York their women end. are niggas. <laughs> <laughs> City boys, city boys, yo. <laughs> I'm, I can't save you. I can't save you. What do you mean? Yo, when Jenny from the Bronx rolls up and she's like, I heard that little nigga had something to say about. And she, what she gonna act like? A nigga. <laughs> nigga. Damn, I, I don't condone any of this. City boy. <laughs> City boy. All I'm gonna say is, okay, to to your to your point being made about that. I'm fifty fifty. I'm juxtaposed. I'm gonna I, need more time to. You gotta meet some more women, bro. We gotta take you outside. It's actually not not now. I, I'm gonna just stay when, on. When when the coronavirus is over, you know what we. I'll go do. on Twitter and tell. That's where I'll get a pop. Data naps. Woo. Woo.
No, no, no dating apps. No, nah, no dating apps. Why not? I, I was thinking about this the other day. I was like, this is the dumbest thing. When are we gonna like? Nah, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not on it. But what's a pen pal? What's wrong with it? You can at this time. You can literally oh, okay at that's these what I'm times. Saying. Yes, that's, yeah, that's I'm what talking I'm about. <laughs> not, all right, I'm speaking outside of the, the virus. Oh <laughs> no, nah, I'm I'm kind of over it. So I'm over. What do you mean over it? <laughs> it's a dating app. Like I'm like I see what it is, but at the same I'm like uh, I can just go outside and do this. <laughs> you think that a lot of people were like yo? Yeah, go outside oh. and meet a girl. There's another nigga rolling the streets right now looking for y'all who's ready to take both of y'all heads off. Of course, if you find y'all. <laughs> You have some demons. What are you talking no, about? How did you come up with that scenario right now? Who is looking for you and your mans? My mans? You haven't been you ain't never been on a date with a girl and And people standing. Yeah, my ex is fresh out of jail. Oh, I told nah. him I don't want to be with him no more. Oh no. Nah. And he hasn't. I mean, I've uh, there was been situations, but shit. The crazy ex? Nigga, was looking I'm for out. Him. I'm out. I ain't paying for that bill. I'm dipping. You wanna meet people in you wanna meet people in person. Send up them. the Addy. You gonna slide? He gonna that's, slide. That's what exactly. If you if you hear you outside, <laughs> and I, I'm gonna pop a smoke cloud. Can we not podcast? I'm gonna dip. Yeah, can we not pop? We up out this bitch. Like, hey, you know, feeling yeah, alive. dating man. Come on, you gotta put yourself out there. Man. Get on the dating ass, man. I'll Challenge yourself once. Three years. Once three years. Oh my god. Give me three years. Give no. me good, like a good three years. I, I gotta still work on my back. You not see you scared of love, bro. Scared you said, of love. You said I don't want love. I, I'm but telling you, you, you don't. Do. You scared of it. Do for love. You just tried everything. You were entirely scared. Don't of it. need love. But all right. So this has been episode eighty nine. Oh, shout out live eighty nine FM. Live eighty nine FM. It's like it came full circle. Don't ask me how. Don't ask me how. Don't ask me how. But yeah. Any last words, bro? Yo, um, just look for reassurance in everything you do. That's it. Just reassure yourself all the time. You got this. You are the most toxic nigga to ever touch a microphone <laughs> on this podcast, and I never want to hear oh. niggas call me toxic ever again on this podcast. And you need to start dating. Once this coronavirus is over, we sending bitches over. You no, got to start dating. No, you got to no, challenge yourself. No. How much self growth? How much challenge? growth? How much growth have you been doing? If you can't test it, let's test the growth. I'm testing my growth with my music. Drop, drop, drop my link. You can do both. Next day, no, you hell no, fuck both. that. Nah, we just we dropped the. See, a, you don't want look to for the, look for the Deja, a uh, Doja Cat say so remix. What? Tone, what? must see TV is out here. Love this shit. Infamous Almadeus, he's gonna be on that too. Yo, shout It'd out. It'd be to funny when you don't want to do it. It's shout out to the lawyers. We gonna get everything popping, smooth, and and popping fresh. Skitty boop boop bow. Wow. Some nigga tried to tell me some dumb shit. Me? Gabe was trying to say you need reassurance during sex. <laughs> that's oh, we about, that's to, we about to end this. That's you need reassurance that's, during sex? Nah, nah, nah. See, I thought you was a bad guy. See, you're not so bad, my nigga. You're not that's, a bad guy. That's a different thing. It that's is a different realm. It that's is, a different it arena. Is, it that's is another topic. It is. I don't know. We're done. We're done. This is the I end. I can talk about how we get reassurance, but that's a different. <laughs> You need some reassurance, bitch. I did what I had to do. I'm going home. Please get out of my house. <laughs> like, what the f- fuck are you reassuring? I need to reassure that you're not in my house when I lock the door. Jeez. <laughs> I don't have to worry about you. That's my reassurance <laughs> that I know this is over when you walk out and I lock the door. Because I know you ain't getting back in. It's over. I don't are need you it from sure you. You don't want the dates after this whole thing is. I'm over? ready to date. I'm ready to love, man. Nigga, you said I'm you ready for love, hung bro. Up your jersey. You said you was retired. I'm retired because women are. I'm ready to love, and women aren't. You ready want for somebody the love to prove that you I'm wrong. You want somebody to prove you wrong. No. Yes, I feel like that's the biggest was, thing you want. You want somebody to prove you wrong. We are done recording. Yeah, 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 okay, we gonna get to it. <laughs> no, no, we're gonna no, 90, we're, episode ninety. End, but we're gonna end this conversation. We're gonna end the podcast. The song stopped and everything. Song stopped. I'm I. I had that mentality when I was younger. I am older. I have grown past that mentality to be trying to prove wrong. I am just open-minded and willing to accept whatever comes. But I understand what I am putting forth, too. So, with that being said, I'm ready, but women just aren't seen to be on that level. So, I hung up the jersey. I'm retired. You, on the other hand, you've been doing a lot of work. You've been in the gym. Nigga. You're working on yourself, bro. Nigga, stop. You need reassurance during sex? No. I don't think any nigga should be looking for reassurance. Yeah, that's sex. weird. That's a corny thing. That's a corny thing. I'm just trying to word. tell Gabe that. And he just didn't. I know he's not here, but my I nigga, feel bad saying do? this about Gabe, but Gabe, you got to change that shit up, man. I was like, bro, act like you've been there before. If you, if you, <laughs> you first on time in some pussy, what are you doing? Nah, it's, it's a different game because he's on the toes. He's on toe level. You he ain't need, seeing eye to eye. It's so. weird because it's like, you want. 
wait, you already nutted. Like, yo, that was some good nut. Like, bitch, I already nutted. I don't care what you say. <laughs> it's nothing you can you say that's going to change the Yo, fact. that was some good nut. What, <laughs> what, is, like, what, what is she supposed, supposed to say? Like, what is she supposed to say? Like, the dopamine has already infiltrated my brain. I'm high. Like, what are we doing? I'm already talking like, uh, I'm mm-hmm. sleep. I'm sleep. The police have been notified that there is a <laughs> trespasser in my humble abode. It's all right. like she took all the nut out of him. It's crazy. I know. Jesus. Yeah. All right. You done? <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> Niggas is wild, bro. I had to reassure myself. <sighs> People have always tried. I just would love for when it comes to that reassurance conversation. We're done. We're done recording. But when we it comes need- to that reassurance conversation, I would love to make a list of all the things that are the bare minimum of what's needed in a relationship and see how long it takes for you to, on a date, with another person on the first date, just be like, yo, what do you think is the bare minimum of what you need a relationship to like to last? And I want these, how long on that list before you get to reassurance? I just want to know. Yeah, do that. Yeah, it's man. a fun game. But guys, it's been episode 89. Bro, Akai's Far Rockaway's finest. What do you got to say, bro? Yo. Stay alive, wash your hands, and stay inside. Be safe, please. Yes, stay inside, be safe, wash your fucking hands, and I don't want to hear no word of you niggas outside. All right, so that's episode 89. My nigga, we the fuck are out of here. We see you niggas next week. Niggas saying they outside. Send the Eddie, we go slug.